Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade as we dive back into the Medal Battalion. A unit we've actually covered a fair amount just because I kind of play it quite a lot, but it's actually had a couple of really nice buffs since I've last really played them. It's kind of had an increase to the damage resistance they get from infantry, so essentially making them a little bit more tanky, but it's also enabled them to use polearm doctrines. Before, they were classified as a special infantry, so it basically ruled them out from using any polearm doctrines. And they've also added um, uh, the brace to some of their abilities. So their medal march uh, and the defence. I'm not sure the defence is default, I think the defence isn't, but the march and the carnage now does brace damage as such, so it can apply a stun. Because if we now go over to the doctrines, we should see one of these, one of these, one of these, that one. <laughs> Bracing weapons now can stun, essentially can be applied as a doctrine. Something you used to be able to apply to um, uh, things like the Fort of Brasios, which is a really useful doctrine to add on, but obviously now you can apply it as well to the Medal. So that's kind of changed a little bit how the unit behaves. When you combine that with the fact they're actually slightly more tanky now as well, and the fact that they don't get overwhelmed quite so easily because they're applying that slight stun effect to units, so long as there's no CC control, then they seem to be a lot more effective. And they've honestly been having a really just a good time using them. Obviously, so we have put the, the stun on. We've still got the um, two standard Medal Doctrines which increase their damage to cavalry. Is that necessary? P possibly not. We could perhaps switch one of those out. But there is quite a lot of Yanyadao still in the game and kind of the Medals aren't the most amazing anti-cav unit ever. But if you can particularly time it with a bit of stun from my hero, a bit of Warlord's Greeting, a bit of Flying Reaper, actually you can take down a unit of cavalry without too much trouble. We obviously just have a little bit of a defense doctrine, a bit of extra hit points, a bit of extra slashing defense, a little bit of extra damage versus enemy units. These are by no means top doctrines. We could put some better ones on here. We could certainly put on maybe the increased damage while bracing, which might bump them up a little bit. Maybe swap out something like the Medal Doctrine 2 to do that. So there's a couple of doctrine options available. In terms of uh, veterancy line, I've gone fully down the bottom just to give them that extra little bit of hit points. They still aren't amazingly tanky. You've got to remember, while they do have a good chunk of hit points and their defensive stats are quite high, they don't have a shield. They are quite vulnerable. And so you start to get shot at by um, uh, Senjis, something like that, Tercios. You're going to go down pretty quick. Archers can damage quite a lot as well. Javelin to the face will kill quite a few of the unit. But anyway, we have covered all this way before. So really, we're just going to hop straight into some battles. Let's see if we can have some fun with the new improved medal. So we're going to kick things off on Sun City. Spawning outside the gate, we have already captured the A point, but the enemy still owns the supply point. A few Laos sort of just stood around in the gateway. So I thought we'd have a little bit of a go at them as I've managed to miss one or two of them. But we caught, come on, damn him. <laughs> we caught one or two of them. Anyway, we come in. We have got some friendly units here, here with us, Dom Onamusha, and you can see I'm a little bit hesitant to go solo against that supply point, or even with our ally. There's just too many enemies on there. These Medau are good, but they're not that good. Anyway, these Laos, I don't know quite what they were thinking. And there you go, you see how I was saying the Medau can sometimes struggle, Bob and the hero, sometimes struggle against cavalry, but you can use your hero to get the interrupt if you've got CC abilities like I have here with the Glaive, and then the unit can really stack their damage in. If you're trying to kill a hero with Medal like we did against that Nadachi, then I tend to try and save my Carnage, my 3 ability for that. I find it to be really, really good. Anyway, I was just spotting at the corner of my eye the fact that these enemies were trying to get in here, trying to bring his cav around to get the flank on the back of us. You've really got to try and keep your eye, you know, essentially, I am, in this situation, the anti-cavalry. Those only moves will get completely flattened if I stop paying attention. He's really trying to keep your situational awareness about you. Because this is quite a tough situation, really. We've got enemies behind us, mobile enemies who can ambush us quite easily, and there's quite a lot of stuff on the supply point. The team's obviously trying to sort of get into a position to apply some pressure on C, but really, we need to be capturing that supply point. As we come down, we get a few stray Iron Reapers. I do decide to use my three ability on them here because they just put out so much damage, and it basically kills the Iron Reapers in one move. Takes them out quite nicely. Now it looks like our Onimusha are getting into a little bit of a fight behind us, so I kind of pull back to see that. But we actually end up finding some enemies charging at the stairs at our friendly units, trying to get up to our friendly range support, 
which is getting up. So there's a couple of mace sergeants here, so they're easy enough for us to take, particularly when they're in a loose formation like that. Although I do end up losing quite a chunk of health in the process, I initially just go in on the brace, wait for them to walk into us, particularly with the enemy owner Musha there, but some friendly impikes come in, works nicely for us, we can push into the fight and start using our two ability. And the two ability, the medal stab, I can't remember what the actual technical term for it is, is on such a short cooldown you can use it continuously. Anyway, at this point, we see we've got friendly units coming down the stairs to pressure the supply point. So I take my opportunity, go on the buff with my glaive, and just get stuck straight in. The enemy tries to come in with some pikes, we do manage to get a lot of the block in, and then we can push in, pin them into the corner, and even though they've got the shields, we can just keep pushing, keep cycling that two ability, and we can just push through them. We do get some enemies from behind, which I turn around and brace into to try and protect us from, but there's actually only a few enemies shut and they just get absolutely obliterated. And there we go, we've picked ourselves up 40 kills pretty easily and managed to capture the supply point. Sometimes you've just got to wait a little bit, wait for your team to get into position, get enough support, get that attack from both directions. There is no point suiciding. There's, a, there's some sort of fine line here between waiting too long, just being a coward and waiting at the back and not doing anything, and just throwing your unit away for no benefit when there's no one there to support you. Anyway, with that dead, it's time to build up the attack on the sea boy. These Medau are pretty slow as a unit, that's something that hasn't changed, and whilst they are a lot more tankier, they still take quite a while to get to a fight, so we are a little bit slow in catching up with this one, but it does give the team a good chance to get into position. And this sometimes on the C point, you just can tell there's just going to be an absolute roll. And this is kind of really kind of one of them. I'm sort of sheltering a little bit from some of those Imperial Archers, but actually as the Cavs going in, it really doesn't matter. Everything here is going to get slaughtered. Just got to watch out for that um, artillery. Oh, there goes the enemy hero. And we can push in and just wait for that treb to end. Once it ends, we can then push back up. Decide to flank round to the left because we've got some Halberdier Sergeants coming in. It's one of the few other units. Go for my buff and straight in with my carnage ability, which just does so much damage now, it seems. You can see, actually, the unit holds up pretty well, given the amount of stuff that it's got flinging in at it. And we can keep up, keep the pressure on while the team is capping the sea behind us, as we get up to just over 140 kills. So, we can keep the pressure on and now just go straight for the base point. At least, that's kind of the plan. Um, we've got a few enemies at the side, but really... You know, most of them are dead. Half the enemy team is dead at this point, so you really want to try and get the damage on and keep the pressure on as much as possible. We come down. I brace here into the corner. The only thing I'm a little bit hesitant of is if there's a lot of range around the corner. They are tanky-ish, these Madao, but they're not that tanky. They don't have shields, and so if you face up against guns or anything like that, you'll go down really kind of quickly. And you can see I'm kind of looking at them. I was actually thinking about going around the corner and just kind of going for them, but as we get more enemy units coming in actually trying to push the point, I think about them. But actually, we have some random enemy archers down at the back. And I know sometimes I get in the comments, why do you have such games like this where people just do this sort of thing? And I must admit, even, even I thought that was a really strange thing to do. <laughs> I don't know how we thought that was ever going to go according to plan. Anyway, we come back round. Basically, a dot top on this corner and I brace into the corner. As we brace, the brace gets ourselves a hero kill. We do have a couple of heroes sort of getting on the back of us, just trying to control the hero fight now and leaving the unit to brace into it. Now, ideally, we could think about pushing in here, and I do decide to go on for the carnage, but it's largely into the enemy imp shield, so we're not really doing that much. I follow it up with a two, but as it's not working, I go back into the brace. But at this point, there is just too much. I try and grab the treb to sort of put a treb down on myself, but unfortunately, not quite enough. We do go on to win this game, so don't worry, all is not lost, but it just really highlights how much damage you can do and how much more survivable medals seem to be now, at least in my opinion, compared to how they were previously. If you can team yourself up with some friendly Imperial Shields, that's obviously all the better, and if you can get some nice carnage strikes on a huge group of men at arms like that, then you will be enjoying yourself a lot more. It's so satisfying when you get that carnage to pop off. I do find that carnage is quite an effective hero killer, Medal traditionally, I find as a unit, is someone that struggles a little bit to deal with heroes. They don't really have that burst damage that a lot of units have. That kind of limits their ability to, to take down enemy heroes. You get a maul in amongst them, it's kind of swinging, and it can be kind of quite difficult. But I find that Carnage is probably about the best ability you've got, so I try and sometimes hold that a little bit in reserve to kind of deal with that. 
they don't have much shield break so when you come up against a unit of enemy shields kind of like in this situation you're gonna have a relatively hard time breaking through because you're not really going to be doing a great amount of damage in there but they can with team support get there eventually you try and take down a little bit of a hero anyway Hopefully you found the video enjoyable. If you have, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Conqueror's Blade content. I shall see you guys all on the next one.